My first um, earliest memory is being in a ghetto. I'm one of the youngest children from Auschwitz who have a very good memory. My mom, she taught me a lot. She taught me survival skills. She taught me everything what was going on. There were no secrets. Whatever she knew, I knew. I knew she would never lie to me, ever. Till her death, she always told me things as they were. When we were liberated, I was six and a half. I just sort of feel, wow, I survived. That's great. What can I do? I feel a complete obligation to talk. And I feel I represent the children who can't talk for themselves. She taught me a lot about um, not giving up and that if I'm passionate about something, continue and pursue it. I think one of the things that that he has learned, or maybe he just, he just knows, is to be active in the world. You know, not to be passive and not to just read about it. He is really an outstanding human being. You want to share her story with the non-Jewish community and social media. There's one thing our audience should take away from our videos is not to be a bystander. In that if they see something wrong, to say something, do something. The Jewish community alone cannot fight anti-Semitism when we need help from all sides, like meep in a small light. What are we supposed to do? Anything. She's sort of a symbol of how one person who some of us think, well, we're just one person, what can we do? Here's, he, you can see how one person, in a sense, changed history. We made it. I guess we all have to have enough faith in ourselves that we can do. And we should, we should at least try. You're very brave. You can be brave too. <laughs> the fact that my grandmother is able to live through such horrific events and overcome it and then live a prosperous life, it's amazing how someone uh, can, can overcome such darkness and bring new light into the world. Judaism is the clay that keeps us together. It is our way of life that I would never give up. <laughs>